Oh, fig tree. At least I think those are figs. I'm pretty sure those are figs. And then I found this little path. And I don't know what's down here, but a figure. So it's likely safe because somebody made some stairs, I guess. Oh, and oh, no, Choco, the dog's out here. Yeah, that's Choco the dog. It's uh, the property's dog. Not barking, but. Yeah, it looks like this was a thing, but not anymore. Yep, there he is. That's Choco. Right there. Uh, yeah, there he is. This is his force. He's tired from running away. <laughs> what up, yeah? How are you so big and so fast? Just some water. Sadly, we were only here for one night and we are heading down. Uh, today is a bit of a long one. Uh, we have a six hour drive to our next destination. Uh, I'm not, I'm probably gonna sleep because I get severe motion sickness. Also, comment below if you get motion sickness. I get really bad motion sickness, so I have to take Dramamine before these long drives, um, which uh, kind of make it bearable, but I pass out for like five, six hours straight. So uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to record much on the road, but we shall see. So uh, um, one way or the other, I'll see you soon. The resort is actually expanding a little more out here. And it's so uh, remote in the forest that you have to actually walk a bit to get to your vehicles. This is gonna be beautiful. Morning. All right, grabbing some spices. We don't have a lot of time in Coach's shop, so. I brought us here to grab some spices. Oh, look at these. Like, uh, local karate or Ayurvedic um, remedies, creams, lotions, uh, spices, obviously. Let's go get some fixed creams. So I'm looking at, I think I'm going to grab this one uh, for, um, for skin, for my face. I always like getting natural exfoliants. So I'm going to grab this one. Oh, this is really good. Right. So I got uh, chicken masala and uh, meat masala. I'm likely going to give away in this green tree uh, with natural cinnamon. And I'm going to send this off to somebody uh, on my Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram so I can send you a bunch of free stuff. Then I got some natural shea butter for my skin. Shea butter scrub. And here you go. Perfect. So this is the shop. And all of this that you guys just saw cost me uh, 28 US. Let me get away from the picture. Uh, 28 US dollars, and plus they give you this cool little cloth bag. I love it. You can actually find most of these to be uh, being sold at different places around the world. It's going to be significantly cheaper here at the source, and I absolutely love supporting local businesses more so than anything. So I'm probably going to send out the masalas and one of the uh, things of tea to you guys. So don't forget, again, follow me on Instagram where I do all my giveaways. I'm gonna stay in the van because I know better. No, no, no. Nope. Look at how suspicious I keep a look at. Nope. Mm -mm. Plotting their entrance. I see you. Look, see? You ain't getting in here. Nah, nah. I know how to close the window. <laughs> look at him. Mm. Quick roadside lunch. Karatis uh, and dosa. Uh, these are. Wait, hold on. Karatis are here, dosas are over there. No, dosas are the thinner version, but I actually prefer porattis because they uh, absorb more flavor and they're thicker. They're delicious. Yeah, you'll find these small roadside restaurants just like anywhere else in the world. A uh, little local community, uh, little tea shops and whatnot, and then restaurants over here. Oh, and this is a masala one. You see the inside? My, the one we're getting is hollow. What they doing? Oh, they already got one. Oh, they already started. Oh, nope. Plain. So, delicious parada bread, and they brought me their medium spicy beef curry. And that beef here is, uh, hold on, let me flip the camera. So, uh, sometimes it surprises people that here in Kerala, um, beef is uh, a staple of the cuisine here, especially given that the majority of India, it's illegal to even kill a cow. But Kerala is actually more of a diverse state. 22% uh, Muslim, 22% uh, Christian, and then the rest are Hindus or Buddhists. 
Uh, so that has resulted in the uh, foods here becoming far more diverse, especially when you have 44% who eat for sure are going to eat cattle. So the beef here, absolutely excellent. It's really good. So we've arrived at the docks where we're going to be taking our houseboats from. These are our boats over here. We have uh, four of them. This is a local ferry. Comes out. Huh. Keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat. What's left of me? No, you're good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Out the boat. And back here. All right. Cabin rooms. Is it got a twin room? Oh my. It's beautiful. Oh. Oh, thank you. Perfect. And a kitchen. A good kitchen. Out into the back. All right, we're about to get on the way, and look, uh, I forgot to show you. I have a bathroom also. Oh, and a shower. Ah, this is actually a really nice boat. All right, and lunch is served. We got some uh, some curries here, stream beans. Got some looks like coconut rice, kingfish and fish. Nice, this is good. They just keep on getting much darker Even when I'm down in the lower I remember what you were saying Sometimes all you need is a spark Maybe just a better kind of bitter Take out, hold on, let's see if I can get the, the pinky. Oh, sorry boss. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, uh, it's good, uh, smashed bananas. Mmm, -hmm. good bananas. Mmm. They want those to be so So this is what happens on a press trip when the alcohol starts flowing. I, I, don't, I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'll talk too much about my favorite cocktails and drinks, which I think I will in the future, but guys, this is really good. It's Indian and it made here clearly, Pondicherry. You can grab it. It's a very good rum. Really good. All right, guys, that's it for our absolutely beautiful, beautiful day. Um, it's mainly transit, and you got, as you guys saw, uh, basically today was us getting from point A to point B. But sometimes press trips are kind of like that. Um, sometimes it's just a lot of transportation. But uh, let me know if you guys want me to kind of um, talk about more about press trips and um, journalism work and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not sure if it would interest many of you. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys will be interested in hearing about it. So, um, it's about, what is it? Uh, oh, about 9.30, super early. Uh, but we have to be up and out at 7 a.m. So, uh, I'm going to call it a night, hop in the shower. Um, but as usual, leave the world better than you found it. And I will see you guys on our last day tomorrow.